Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. In this pressable, we shall see a people ambling about coming across a very dishonest public servant. But we will let the court of public opinion rule on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Press on. Motorcycle cop sitting at the table. Wonder if he's the injured party. So we got traffic enforcement, Fort Worth. Is an officer hurt? Are you hurt? You are? What? He's the bike, the bike officer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what did he, he crash? Why no. are you so close, man? What's your fucking problem? Holy crap, man. We're in a pandemic, can you just walk right up to me like that? Have you bumped your head? No. You have, right? Thing. Yeah, the six no. foot thing that you're okay. still not honoring, Sergeant. Right. Feeding for a step. Yeah. Why are you so close to me? I'm asking you for the third. Yeah. Obviously aren't practicing social distancing. None of you have masks. This idiot just walks right in and gets a freaking face. I don't know who's driving that. They think this is a big old game. Just walk up and intimidate and try and bully. So full of shit, he couldn't hear me. That's their standard cops claim. Nonsense lies. Sure. Can I come over there? Oh, he said I could talk to him. Is somebody detained? Have I committed a crime? Hey, have I, uh, is, is this? Fuck that. I don't care what you prefer. Am I committing a crime? Because this is private property. I don't think anybody's detained and you're trying to give me unlawful orders, Sergeant. Why don't you screw your hat on a little bit tighter? Oh, I don't care what you prefer. So, now that we've got that straight, are you okay, officer? Thomas. You feel like I'm trying to take advantage? No, I... I think you're trying to intimidate me by taking advantage of my injury. You're funny. I always um, document what my public servants are doing. I like very sincere by talking to my sergeant the way you talk to Oh, well, I don't really care. I run over by a truck. Did you? Yeah. Wow. That doesn't... Um... Please go ahead and step back. Oh, now you're going to try and tell me where to stand? Oh, that's not my problem. No, I'm not committing a crime. If you're under emotional distress by being pressed on by one of the people, then that's just too damn bad, man. You don't look like you got ran over by a truck. You look like you're a standard cops playing and whining ass little bitch is what it looks like to me. Typical. Usually this goes a lot better, you know. Usually this goes a lot better. But um, I don't like unlawful orders. And um, if you're going to give an order or tell somebody what to do, then, um, you know, have a law to back it up, right? You're servants of the people, not orders of the people. I agree 110%. 110%, you know. I, um, I like to have conversations. And, and like I said, usually this goes a lot better. Right, I'm not here to instigate or try and cause a problem. You know, usually I have hour, two hour long conversations with officers. 
that I regularly post. I'm not your enemy, and I, and I don't want this guy to get hurt or anybody to get hurt, you know, an officer or anybody, right? But when um, a citizen uses that same excuse, I call bullshit on them, right? I'm not trying to take advantage. I just document what my servants are doing. You know, I didn't know when an officer was hurt when I came up. And I don't know who you are, and I don't know what your intentions are. Right. Using the language and calling an officer a little bitch does not... I have free speech. I'm on the First Amendment where the high ground is. So so when you're trying to go to this moral ground and talk about like, oh, it's not nice or something, I can see where you're going. Sincere. I'm sincere with the First Amendment, right? And whenever I use it, I have the high ground. So it's not demonstrating anything except that I have the rights around here and you have privileges, right? See, you can't talk to me the way I can talk to you. That's a, a demonstration of where our positioning is, right? You have so a different position than me. your position on the public service? Well, when he's trying to uh, cop-splain with me and tell me a bunch of nonsense, you know, that's just not true, right? It doesn't matter what any of you guys prefer or what you think, right? Those Your feelings just don't come into this situation at all. You know what I mean? Your law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. Sir, do you mind if I have a word? I noticed you're not, I noticed they're not, they don't have you in cuffs, so you must not have done anything wrong. Uh, well, I don't feel bad, man. But it was just a big old misunderstanding. The officer said I ran over his foot. Yeah, you didn't. I know I didn't. You didn't? I knew, I told him he was a whiny little bitch and that he was making it all up and shit. And sure enough, man, you're not in cuffs. I'm a, look, I'm a doing and roll out. I bet they don't waste most of my day sitting here. Most of your, how long have you been here? Over, it's been at least two hours. Two hours, man, I'm glad I got here. Uh, thank thank you, you, you have a great day. Oh, you're walking fine now. Yeah. I mean, I just, it's so, it's such nonsense. It's like if he really ran over his foot, that guy would be in cuffs going to jail.